Netflix recently suffered a share price drop of over a third, just as they floated the idea of changing their subscription model. The four wiped more than $50 billion from the company's market value, with experts pessimistic about the service's chances of getting back to where it was. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex announced their multi-year deal with the streaming giant a matter of months after breaking with the royal family in 2020. They most recently travelled to The Hague to record part of their upcoming documentary, Heart of Invictus, with Netflix camera crews in tow. But with the pressure now bearing down on the streaming giant, signing a deal with the estranged royals could end up being Netflix's biggest mistake, journalist Dan Wooten wrote. Mr Wooten claimed, Netflix is discovering the brutal reality of the truism go woke, go broke. Breaking the bank to sign the king and queen of woke Harry and Meghan could well end up the biggest mistake in their history. He then added, I wouldn't be surprised if Harry and Meghan are soon faced with a stark choice, provide us with a juicy show about your lives and the royal family or we're not going to renew your deal. That's Hollywood, darling. He quipped, you can pretend to be royal all you want, but when you've sold out to an entertainment giant, there's only so long you can resist if you want to keep pocketing the massive checks. On Sunday, Netflix announced it had made the decision to axe Pearl an animated series developed by the Duchess of Sussex. The family series was to be the first animated series for the Duke and Duchess's Archog production brand. It was one of several projects dropped by the streaming service in an attempt to slash costs. Announcing the collaboration with Elton John's husband, David Furnish, in 2021, Meghan said was excited to work with the powerhouse platform. The series was set to follow 12-year-old Pearl on a series of adventures in which she takes inspiration and wisdom from historically influential women. Megan said, like many girls her age, our heroine Pearl is on a journey of self-discovery as she tries to overcome life's daily challenges. She added, I'm thrilled that Archer Productions, partnered with the powerhouse platform of Netflix and these incredible producers, will together bring you this new animated series which celebrates extraordinary women throughout history. David Furnish and I have been eager to bring this special series to light. Mr. Wooten ripped apart the Axe series, writing in the Daily Mail, it was meant to be an animated series starring a campaigning 12-year-old girl, based on the precocious Megan as a child, who wrote to Procter & Gamble about a sexist ad, weaving in the stories of extraordinary women throughout history. He then added, but here's the problem with putting a preening princess with zero executive experience at the heart of the creative decision-making process, she hasn't the faintest idea how to make a compelling drama series. Burl was shaping up to be worthy tosh, and Netflix is no longer prepared to treat even its British royal family staff members with kid gloves. Mark my words, yesterday's announcement spells deep trouble for the Sussex's golden handcuffs deals with Hollywood companies, who, behind the glossy PR statements, are paying for product that will sell.